It's Moses Mooley's job to look after the crews of abandoned ships. He took us to one, the MV Jinan, that's moored off Kenya's coast. One and a half years ago, it unloaded a cargo of construction materials here at the port of Mombasa. And it's been in this channel ever since, waiting for instructions from its Lebanese owners that the Syrian crew says never came. The only way to meet them is by climbing on board since they can't leave the ship. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> the situation that you've had here. It's normal situation in the sea. It's uh, normal. Too many, many, many situations like this, our ship. Yeah. The ship's crew haven't been paid since months before it was abandoned. The port city of Mombasa is just there. It's only about a kilometre away, so close, but yet so far for the sailors stuck on board. Covid restrictions and immigration rules mean they can't go on the land. Plus, if they abandon the ship, they risk losing the wages that they're owed, in some cases up to three years. And so they're confined within the decks of the ship, which they say have come to feel like a prison. Fariz Sahwani, the ship's cook, sailed with it to Turkey, Romania and Russia before getting stranded here. He has a young child back home in Syria. Nobody feels what I feel. I'm stuck here. I wish the owner could feel what we feel. If his children were here, he would know what we feel. I have been away from my family for three years. They've been confined in these cabins as they wait for a resolution. And they're not alone. Around 6,000 seafarers face the same problem on hundreds of ships abandoned by their owners. The crew here has depended on food and water from a charity called Mission to Seafarers, brought regularly by Moses. He says ship's owners try to push abandoned crews to their limit. They want to, to, to cause a crisis to the seafarer. They want the seafarers to get tired and leave the ship so that they don't pay the salary arrears. Some of the crew, their wives left them because life has to continue. I would like to term it as a modern slavery. Abandoned cargoes can be a problem too. It was an abandoned ship's cargo that caused a devastating explosion in Lebanon's capital, Beirut, last year. The crew of MV Jinan hope their ordeal will soon be over. A court in Mombasa has ordered the ship to be sold. An auction took place last week. You stay for nothing, it's no good. But now with some light, <laughs> some light, waiting uh, order from the court, we take money. We say our goodbyes and leave the crew waiting and hoping that whoever won the auction will pay up. And if that happens, they'll soon be leaving too and finally flying home. But thousands more like them around the world are still going nowhere. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Mombasa, Kenya. So how can sailors protect themselves from getting stuck on abandoned ships? Well, maritime organizations suggest they should find out as much information as they can about the company and the vessel they'll be joining before they take the assignment. If sailors are in danger of abandonment and if their ship owner does not respond, they are advised to contact the insurance company. Well, under maritime labor laws, ship owners must have insurance to assist seafarers if they're abandoned. They also are expected to provide the name and contact details of the insurer. Frederick Kenny is the Director of Legal Affairs at the International Maritime Organization. He's also the chair of the Secretary General's Seafarers Crisis Action Team. He joins us by Skype from London. Good to have you with us. So first of all, Thank you. Can we clarify the situation? Are these people unable to leave the ships because of legal considerations, because of COVID restrictions? Or is it more a case of they don't want to leave the ships because they want to get their salaries first? They don't want to risk losing years and months of salaries. Well, the uh, problem of uh, seafarer abandonment is a historical one. It's been going on for many years, and the causes are varied, usually financial with the company. They're just unable to pay their bills, including uh, the seafarer's wages. Um, 
And the seafarers don't want to leave in many cases without their wages, uh, which is why uh, the insurance regime uh, went into effect in 2017. However, what we've seen is uh, with the insurance regime going into effect, we, we saw a big spike uh, in abandonment cases. The pandemic has uh, and the travel restrictions have only added to that issue. Uh, we've uh, last year the IMO and the I International Labor Organization (ILO) saw a nearly doubling of the abandonment cases reported. Uh, we're on track for another record year, uh, and uh, the pandemic has definitely contributed the, to that for a number of different reasons. Why can't the the crew leave the ship then and pursue the owners legally for their salaries. Why have they got to remain on these ships? It seems from what some of them are saying, they feel they've got to remain on these ships. If they physically get off them, they lose the money. Well, it's uh, it becomes an issue of jurisdiction for them. If if you have a, a seafarer that's in uh, an, an Indian or Filipino seafarer that's on a ship that's been abandoned in Africa, uh, it becomes much more difficult for them to gain access to the courts. Now, there are possibilities for them to get legal assistance within the country uh, that has jurisdiction over the ship, but that can often be difficult, uh, and seafarers, I think, are wary of that. They would rather have the money in hand. So how are they likely to get the money in hand, even if the ships are sold? Do the, are the new owners under some kind of obligation to pay them anything for past years of, of salaries? Well, normally, uh, if the seafarers can can file a lien within the the court system, uh, the new owners would be responsible for uh, for uh, uh, extinguishing those liens prior to taking possession of the ship. Uh, the International Transport Workers Federation, the the ITF, the IMO, and the ILO do work uh, in individual cases to get that kind of resolution so that the so, seafarers are So let me jump in there. If it's a matter of fi filing a lien in a court, can't, can't they do that from their homes? Do they need to file that lien in court while they're still physically on the ship? Uh, they don't necessarily have to do it, but uh, in many cases, I think seafarers feel they'll lose the ability to assert that lien once they leave. Interesting. All right. Thank you so much for uh, explaining the situation to us. Sure, certainly.